Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my master thesis student project. So I'm an architecture student, I'm just about to finish my master's degree. So I'm doing my final master's project and I'm going to be sharing that project with you. And also I thought it would be interesting to share just a, a little bit about the Revit workflow that I use for my student projects. This being a very complex project, so I thought it would be interesting. Uh, so it's it's a complex shape, it's a complex form, so I thought it would be uh, kind of interesting to, to show you how how basically you go about modeling something like this. Uh, but anyways, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot just with the YouTube algorithm. It kind of pushes the video through to the suggestion box. And also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials, well, almost each day. Also, one more thing, if you want to get access to this uh, project file, my student project, uh, you can find it on my Patreon, first a link in the description. Also there you can find all of my Revit project files, like 300 files so far, and some of my uh, advanced courses, 20 courses so far, and they are all over one hour long, and they, um, they're basically about some advanced Revit topics. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the project. So let me just switch here to my screen. And here, uh, as you can see, this is my student project. So this, uh, the location of, for this is in one of the, like the cent almost the center of my uh, hometown. And here, as you can see, I've added my, uh, basically a CAD file, just because I had that uh, city CAD file on hand. So I've added here and pinned it down. And as you can see here, we have this square and the, it's a big important square. And then here we have the building location. Now the topic for the building is a science center or a science promotion center and I wanted to tie that in with the topic of my master thesis and my master thesis was architecture in used for presentation purposes. So basically promotion of science usually falls down to some sort of presentation of science. So I, I want to find out about architecture presentation uh, used as a pre presentation tool. So I had to have some sort of a big important form that it represents some sort of a presentation tool. In this case, that is this big sphere over here. So the idea is you can have some sort of a presentation on this sphere. So you go all the way around in a spiral around the sphere and then inside of it is a planetarium. So you can go there as well. Also, it has this big curved surface and you can use that to kind of uh, project uh, maybe video on it. Just use it as a big uh, projection panel, something like that. So I thought that would be a, a cool uh, thing to do. So as you can see here, uh, the terrain is sloped. So I added the sphere here, but I want it to be kind of in, uh, indented into the uh, terrain. So as you can see, it's kind of inside of the terrain, perhaps here in this section, it's represented perfectly. So here is the terrain align just like this. And then the sphere is kind of a bit into the terrain. And then I had to build this crater around that. And that basically forms some sort of a small square uh, underneath the sphere. And that square is basically where you enter most of the buildings. So here, as you can see, that's that uh, square or a crater, if you will. And if I go maybe to one of the underground floor plans like this one, yeah, as you can see, this is that big uh, round square. And then here you enter the building through these uh, place uh, doors over here. So that's the idea behind that. Also, I wanted the the whole uh, building to be kind of opened up to this main square here in the in the city. So I wanted to leave a lot of extra room here, a lot of empty space, a lot of uh, like public space. So uh, that's why I moved it all the way up over here. But it still uh, is visible from that angle, which is really important. It's not being blocked by this building. So I had to test that out as well. Also, here, as you can see, I've built these uh, uh, surrounding buildings. It's just a, is in place extrusion. So if you select this, as you can see, if you go edit extrusion, so it's just a simple extrusion. I'm just going to exit out of that. So I, I built those buildings. And here, as you can see, these buildings have these this basically the back side of the building on, on this side. And it's really ugly. And it would uh, kind of diminish my 
public space. So what they decided to do is to put all of the administrative offices and all of that in this big tall uh, narrow building uh, that's on this side so it basically blocks this and has a nice facade but of course that facade couldn't be just a nice facade it has to kind of be connected to the rest of the project and the, pro the main part of the project is this sphere and because we have this crater over here in the ground I thought it would be a good idea to have kind of a crater inside of the building as well so as you can see over here the building has like an indentation here just uh, just it looks like this um, this sphere has its own gravitation field that's kind of warping space around it and maybe if I go here and into one of the floor plans yeah as you can see this is what that building looks like and here we have some open space inside of that building so if you sit over here it's a really nice view to the sphere and to the rest of the town also just because as you can see the, the terrain was sloping up I did a slope down and then I kind of dug into the terrain which you can see here into the section so I go here the terrain slopes up so I sloped down and that's how I got all of this room underneath for all of the uh, basically all of the presentation halls and all of that good stuff here you can see this is the planetarium on top we have some sort of a restaurant and on bottom yeah you have just some room for entertainment the planetarium also around the sphere we have this spiral now the idea behind the spiral was to kind of go all the way around the building but the problem was and uh, just with consulting with my professors and everything the problem was uh, the sphere was kind of engulfing and caging in or the the spiral was caging in the sphere which uh, didn't really look right especially if the sphere is used for presentation purposes it, it wouldn't be nice to have it kind of basically eaten by this spiral so what I decided to do is to have spiral go inside of the sphere as you can see over here in some places so in some places it goes inside of the sphere and on the back it goes outside so here on the back you have a nice view you can walk around in the sunshine and here on the front where I wanted to preserve that kind of complete square uh, uh, sphere <laughs> look uh, I, I go inside of the sphere with my uh, with my ramp so that's the idea behind that so it kind of cuts into the and also I just left one uh, on top like this I really liked it just because it's it's kind of cut uh, here on the bottom so I want to have like another cut on top I thought it would be kind of symmetrical I guess anyways so that's that and also here just because it cuts into the ground so I tried to copy that maybe here in the section you can see so here perhaps for this facade it kind of has that angled ramp look so here we have that ramp ramp angled ramp so there's a lot of display with different angled ramps on this place and also here uh, if I orbit around here you can see I have a restaurant here and then more stairs and ramps as well so uh, the idea is to have a lot of these communications with ramps I thought it would be kind of cool for the whole uh, design but anyways so for this model as you can probably see it's a bit sloppy so here some things are kind of like this here this doesn't make sense so there's a, it's a sloppy model and the reason I did it this way is because for my first model I just wanted to get to that shape so for that I'm just testing it out so it doesn't have to be like perfect accurate 100% so what I usually do is for complex projects like this I do one sloppy model test everything out to get to something that I want to have and then I move on from there to a new model and for the second model I'm really precise so so most of this was done as in place massing so the sphere this bottom portion and even this building as well it's all done as uh, in place massing and then I would add materials like this basic roof walls stuff like that so I do one like sloppy uh, massing model and I make it uh, presentable just so I can speak to my professors I can I can take a look I can see how would it look like in real life but then for my final project that's what I'm doing right now I'm making the precise model so let me show you that I think it's really important to see the whole workflow so I'm just going to exit out of this and here I think it's this one yeah there we go okay so this is what I'm working on now so I've changed it just a little bit so 
uh, as you can see, that uh, this building over here has some sort of a kind of fillet on both edges and something like that. Also here for the sphere, uh, the spiral that goes around is now an elliptical spiral. So it's kind of visible in this edge and in this edge and uh, it basically cuts through the sphere in uh, the other two sides. So as you can see it looks like this. So it's cutting through the outer sphere but the inner sphere uh, stays closed and that's for my, uh, for my uh, planetarium. So that's cool. And uh, it was really hard to do this cut, uh, this cut through the sphere, but I've managed it, so I'm very happy with that. And as you can see, this bottom part is also an in-place mass, so we have a lot of these ramps, and but everything is now perfect. So these distances here, they're perfect. This over here, everything is measured perfectly. So that's what the, that's all of the things I like to go through just to make the final model perfect and presentable. So, and of course I do make some changes like the changes to the sphere just to make it look a bit more interesting. I think it's a lot cooler now, if you ask me. But anyways, tell me in the comment section below, do you think it's cooler? Do you think it's better? And how do you like my project? So anyways, that's, that's, my, that's my master thesis project. That that's my whole workflow for working on student projects in Revit. And I'll have probably a couple of more videos as I get my master's degree, just the whole process. And I want to do one uh, like video about architecture school. Was it worth it? What's, what's, what's it like? and all of that stuff so I, I i want to talk about that for all of you that maybe aren't architects yet but uh, uh, would like to know a bit more about the architecture school so anyways that's it for this project if you want to download it first link in the description to my patreon there you can also find all of my advanced uh, advanced courses all one hour long so check that out okay so that's it for this video and i'll be back with a regular tutorial in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day